Alright, what's going on everyone? It's Joshua from Crypto Busy and today we're going to be looking at the market. It's a sad day for cryptocurrency. We've been uh, breaking down on Bitcoin. However, we'll be going over some analysis there for Bitcoin, Ethereum, VeChain and Chainlink. So four coins that a lot of people are interested in and I thought it was fitting to do a video covering what's happening right now and uh, where we could potentially go from here. So a lot of people ask ask me in the group chat, how can we deal with the crash you know this is my first time in a crash that kind of thing what do I do and I would just say stay calm the key is to be as emotionless as possible you know you don't want to get all emotional about it because then you start pulling all your positions out for a loss and then when it goes back up you're even more sad because then you've missed out on the potential gains I would say if you have the money potentially average into some positions don't double down on losers but just average slowly into positions to build up more of a position if you're happy with it um, I would say don't just don't freak out is the main thing right a lot of people are going to be selling off now which is why we see a crash because once things start going down all the weak hands out there are just going to be throwing their bitcoin or whatever coin away because they don't want to be any part of it which is going to just make the price fall even harder right because there's less buying pressure and more selling pressure now this will end at some point it's not going to just crash all the way down um, and now you just have to kind of go from technicals, watch key levels, as well as kind of get the general sentiment from the market. You can use Lunar Crush or another social sentiment meter to find out what people's sentiment is on the market. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, but I would personally say just sit on your hands and react to the market. There's always that saying, which is you should react to the market rather than just being the one that tries to catch all the moves. Don't pick tops and bottoms. Wait for the market to make a move and then react to that move. So, you know, that's why you don't you don't see me trying to buy or sell reversals. Um, you, I, I wait for a trend to form and then I see that moves happened and I try and react and buy in that trend. So I would definitely say, like I said, react, don't act straight away. And uh, that should hopefully be a good plan. And just just hold tight, guys. I mean, I've been through a bear market that lasted like two years and, you know, I'm still alive. So it's not the end of the world. Don't worry hopefully everything will recover and i'm sure it will so hopefully that helps you guys so let's start off on lunar crush and take a look at bitcoin so bitcoin is down about 8.5 percent on the week which it has actually recovered quite substantially from last night so when i went to bed i think it was around 10.1 thousand dollars so which wasn't great i think everyone was very upset unfortunately but it is what it is and uh, let's see where we can go from here so as I said, 10.5k right now. Let's go over to the technical chart and uh, let's see. So what I've put in, I've put in red the potential resistance points and in green the support points. And we've also got this big trend line running right through since the big crash in March. So there's a lot of different things that could happen, of course. But let's take a look at where we are right now. So we have actually bounced off of this key level here around the $10,000 mark. Now, not only is it a level here from previous resistance, but also it's a psychological level. You know, we see these play a part in a lot of markets. This kind of figure, we had like Chainlink at $10, for example, was a level. We have Bitcoin at $10,000. It's kind of that level in your mind that you just think, wow, that's, that's a strong level. Even though it doesn't really have any basis for it, it does actually play a part. Now... You can't usually trade just off the psychological levels alone, but the fact that it did create this much resistance now turned to support, this could act, like I said, as a good support line. Now we are kind of pushing up from here and recovering. However, I wouldn't hold my breath on it recovering all the way back. So it's very unlikely that it's just gonna shoot straight back up and get to where it was, unfortunately. However, that being said, it does look fairly healthy and that's a good bounce with good amount of wick rejections from that area. Now, what could happen is that we reach this trend line, which we have broken through, unfortunately, and then we kind of come back down and continue with a bear trend. Now, we could reach uh, 9,900 again. There's also a CME market gap, which historically have been filled, um, and that's around 9,700, $9,800. So there's also something to potentially watch out for there. Now, the next major level that we could fall down to if we did would unfortunately be around that kind of 8,900 zone. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen, but in this market we have to be prepared for anything. So I would not, like I said, I would not hold my breath too much on it recovering straight away. So don't expect Bitcoin to be shooting back up to 12,000 anytime soon. But also I would say you could, we could see a nice consolidation happen and slowly move back upwards but this level that was quite a strong support, unfortunately, is now going to be tough resistance to break. 
Um, so we're going to have to break through that 11,000 barrier before we can try 12,000 again and then beyond. But yeah, we'll just have to wait and see with Bitcoin and I hope that helps. I would say potentially stay out of positions right now if you can. However, um, it, maybe it's worth just maybe dollar cost averaging in if you are wanting to buy some stuff right now. Now up next we've got Ethereum. So Ethereum is currently just under $400, which is annoying because those of you that follow Ethereum will know that it went up quite dramatically the other day and we all thought it was going to go to maybe $500. My target was actually $490, but unfortunately it didn't quite get there. Now it's currently down 0.56% on the week because it did have such a meteoric, meteoric rise. However, if we go to the daily, it is down around 6% which, you know, again, it is what it is. We just have to be careful in the crypto market and realize that everything can go crazy with a minute's notice. Now, these are there are a lot of levels with Ethereum to watch. Now, the current one that we have bounced off of is the 375 support, which, you know, has been quite prominent throughout, has bounced off it multiple, multiple times. Um, but we are now testing this other level here of, of resistance at the 400. So it depends what happens here. If we break through $405, we will most likely see another rise back up to 440 and then if we break through that we'll see 490 and then beyond so yeah my target was narrowly missed just by a couple of dollars but uh i did sell a majority of my chunk here because i did think there was going to be a major resistance coming there so luckily uh that happened but for those of you that didn't sell at that point that's okay i do think we will recover soon enough um as ethereum is one of my top picks for this month as well if we do not break the 400 mark, however, and we do come back down to retest the 375, we could continue the downtrend and the next area to watch would be the 330 level. Now that seems like quite a significant drop. However, if Bitcoin does go down to 9,000 and beyond, then yeah, that's actually not too bad of a drop. Uh, what would actually make sense in line with this trend line would be for us to hit kind of the 340 mark, uh, maybe around mid-October if it does happen. So kind of keep following consolidating down here down here down here and then we might actually hit about the 340 mark 335 mark but like i said with every coin right now we don't really know what's happening i'm not some kind of oracle i can't predict the future so we just have to see what the technicals say see what the fundamentals are saying and go from there really and up next we have vchain thor which you know is one of our favorite coins on the channel lots of people like it as well it's down 21 percent this week and it's actually at a price point that a lot of people thought we would never see again and Let's take a look at the chart of VeChain. So it's quite interesting. We were in this downtrend and I was kind of expecting a breakout here because as you saw, we retested support and then we came up, we broke the trend line, but unfortunately we did continue downward. Now we have tested this quite a major level here of uh, around, you know, one cent and we shot straight up from there. I think one cent would just be so incredibly undervalued. If it does come back down there, I'm definitely buying up a lot more, um, but we are continuing in this downtrend still unfortunately and we would have to break this quite a significant level here of the 1.5 cent resistance now um, if it does come back down i would still expect the one cent or maybe the 0.009 cent to hold as a support level break out of this trend line and then retest 1.5 and then beyond so that is what i'd be watching there but would i recommend buying any alts right now well personally i am not buying anything uh, I'm just waiting and seeing what happens. I want to wait for the market to make a move and then react to the market rather than being caught trying to catch a falling knife. So uh, just be careful out there, guys, and let's get on to Chainlink. So last up, like I said, we have Chainlink. It's at $12. Again, a price point that a lot of people thought was going to be impossible to see again. But if we look at the chart, we can see we uh, bounced off and there, there wasn't really any major level we bounced off on in terms of support. However, we were in line with this trend line. So again, it is quite possible that we're going to come up. We'll probably test the $3.14 mark again. Um, and then if we break through that $14, then we can reach $17. And if we break through there, then we can reach $19, $20 again and beyond. However, for the time being, we just have to wait and see. Now, we do have this kind of where I've marked here with a green box, these wick rejections. Now, that's quite bullish because when you have price coming all the way down to an area and then rejecting straight away and closing higher, that is a very bullish sign. So there we can see bullish momentum. However, with the overall sentiment of the market, it can still crash if Bitcoin continues to go down. So everything is leveraging on Bitcoin right now, and we'll just have to watch Bitcoin and see what it does and then react to that. So I hope you guys did enjoy this quick update, a little update just to make sure everyone knows what's going on in the market. 
and how to deal with everything. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy, please like the video, please subscribe, and also check out our Patreon, link in the description. And yeah, have a good day, guys. Stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.